happy mama of four. Dylan just won second place in his hockey championship, which means one, I'm so excited and proud of him. And two, I'm only three minutes away from my RV. So I love both of those things. I wanted to show you guys at the storage unit the difference between some of the RVs that I've been talking about. So this one is mine. And this one is called a bumper pool or a travel trailer. It is a tow behind. Any of those terms mean that I hook my truck up right here. This is locked so nobody can just come and drive off with it. If you don't have a lock, literally anybody with the tow ball can come up behind you right up and take your trailer. I've even seen it happen in a church parking lot to two of my friends. So um, this is a travel trailer or bumper pool. I'm going to show you, sorry, we've got some company, an airplane overhead and a truck nearby. I'm going to show you what some of the other RVs look like. And then tomorrow I'm going to post videos of inside of what these look like from when I was in Quartzsite, Arizona and did some tours. But today I'm going to show you the outside. So if you follow me down here, this is a cafe, but it's a little bit older. So I'm going to show you some of the newer ones. This one is a fifth wheel right here. And this is the next one that I wanted to show you. This is a fifth wheel right here as well. So when somebody mentions that they have a fifth wheel, they're really good for families. They have a lot of space because this up here is a bed. This is a bedroom. So you're going to get extra space. You have to get a special insert in the back of your truck in order to come up and hook to this. So this will literally go into the middle of your truck bed. So you're going to lose a lot of your truck bed space, but you're gaining space up here because it's, again, you're getting that extra square footage with the fifth wheel. This is a class A or a motor home. So when I mention a class A, it's a large motor home. There's other ones that are smaller. They're not called class A's. As you can see, this one is probably at least 35, 40 feet. Um, and this is a nice newer one. This is like the one that I rented when I just went to Quartzsite. I rented a 32 foot. This one's larger and you sit really high. When I drove this, it was actually easier to drive because I wasn't pulling anything behind me. So in my truck, when I'm pulling the trailer behind me, whatever way I go, I have to really account for this huge amount of trailer behind me. Here, you didn't have to do that as much, but you sit really high. Even after four or five days of renting it, I still couldn't get over like how high I was sitting. I felt like I was in a semi truck, but the maneuverability on these class A's is awesome. And you can go to the bathroom, you can make food, you can take a nap, whatever. You don't even need to put your slides out all on the road. So they have a lot of the convenience factor. So one of the other ones I wanted to show you, you have to walk with me for a second. Um, but this is called a teardrop when we can get over there. And this is something that if you have a Jeep or a smaller um, tow vehicle that you might find of interest. Actually, let me show you the Wolf Pup first, if Dylan can turn around here. Because this is one of the ones that we're interested at looking at for Brandon. So Brandon has a Jeep, but he doesn't have the Jeep Wrangler. So the weight that he can pull because he has a cheaper Jeep is not as much as like a Jeep Wrangler. I think his is at 5,000 or less, which are hard to find if you want to live in it full time like Brandon does, because a lot of times you'll get a wet bath, which means that you sit on the toilet and you take a shower. And so some people don't want that if you're living full time. And so this is an alternative to that. These wolf pups and the micro lights are small and I bet I'd have to check the weight online and Google it because you always want to put safety first to make sure that you can actually tow before you buy. But this is about the size that Brandon is looking at that he can tow with his Jeep. He is a Jeep Renegade. But let me just cut through here because I really want to show you this teardrop. The teardrops have an entire following. They're almost like a vintage trailer in the fact that people will go to different RV shows and gatherings and get togethers just with other people that have teardrops because they're so popular. So as you can see, this is a little one. So Brandon could definitely pull this, but he's not, he wants something bigger than this. Um, but look how cute and little this is. So really almost anything can pull this size. If you have an SUV, a Jeep, you don't even need a truck. But it's an option, y'all. So whatever size vehicle that you have, if you want to get out on the road and you want to go RVing, you don't have to get a new car. There are a lot of options out there. So I just wanted to show you that as well. So tomorrow I will show you the inside of some of these, but now you know the terminology. Comment if you have any questions.